Well, here we go then, boys. After a strong start, boys, boys and girls, slap you, slap you. We don't just say boys. We don't discriminate here. I think I was talking to my players and not the viewers. If you're not a boy, I do apologise. Bad Kevin. We'll try again. Here we go then, boys and girls. We had a good start to the season. Then it went a little bit rough, and now it's kind of goodish again. All of which means. If we finish the season right here, right now, it's probably going to involve playoffs and they notoriously don't go very well for me. Um, but this is the situation. If you're not up to date on the Lelujo 2 videos, which you should be in their new lazy release time of 11am because Tofa has Lions now. If you're not fully up to date, we're third in the league. As mentioned, we started really strongly. We were top of the league very briefly. At the start of the season, we finished top of our group in the League Cup as well. Um, but then we had this horrible spell that looked like it was going to completely derail the season. But we've sort of turned it around again to the point where we're now third in the league, albeit a gazillion miles behind Ross County. But we are also in the quarter final of the Scottish Cup, which is quite impressive for us. I guess the draw for that happens tomorrow. But, I mean, it's obviously not winnable. Although, that being said, Celtic have been knocked out there. Rangers have already been knocked out by the looks of it. Should we just go and win the Scottish Cup? Would that qualify us for Europe? I think it probably would. We're going to get promoted and win the Scottish Cup. That's the plan for tonight. Oh, we actually get the proper, the proper fancy draw for the Scottish Cup. With some guy called Keith. Who is Keith? Keith was Motherwell's assistant manager. This is a, this is Scottish celebrity Keith Lasley is here. And these are the eight teams left in it. You know what? I mean, there might not be a better chance for a little while. I mean, there's still Aberdeen, obviously. There's still Motherwell. There's still Hibs. It's very unlikely we'd be able to win it, but... If we had a little bit of luck go our way, this this could go mad. Let's have a look. So St Mirren or Dunfermline will play Hibs. Motherwell play Spartans. I went through that one a little. Come on, Keith, slow this down a little bit. Build some suspense. East Fife are at home. Two. Who do we want? Cove Rangers probably is what we want here. East Fife are at home to Aberdeen. That's probably the end of our run in the uh, in the Scottish Cup this year. But yeah, Aberdeen are second in the Premiership. So they're actually, they've somehow managed to insert themselves as the third team in a two-horse race. In fact, to be fair, Rangers are rubbish. I don't know what's gone on at Rangers. Rangers are down there with Hibs and Motherwell and Hearts as partly also ran group. And Aberdeen are the team who are miles behind Celtic. So it seems like we're going to get thumped by the second best team in the country. It'll be a fun day. Presumably that still takes place at our place, which means we're not going to earn very much money because we already max out our attendance every match anyway. 1,980 is our max capacity. When is it? How quickly can we get some temporary terracing in for the other three sides of the ground? <laughs> we need some. We need some of that stuff they bring in for the Formula One. Some of those, tem a temporary grandstand on each of the other three sides. Rangers are rubbish. I mean, that bodes well for when we get to the Premiership. Because presumably there's two Champions League spots. Is that how it works? Top goes into the Champions League league phase. Okay, second place has to go through the qualifiers. But it means you don't have to topple two unassailable giants to get us to get an opportunity at the champions league so we could get into the champions league and start generating some champions league money before we're on celtic's level which would be handy oh god i forgot about rory mcleod if you weren't in the last stream we got this guy in on loan he had a perfect debut he got a hat-trick and an assist and a 10 out of 10 on his debut so we immediately offered him a contract he joins him joins us permanently in the summer Going to be our highest paid player probably ever. And since then, he's been pretty rubbish. He has managed to get one more goal and one more assist in the subsequent four matches, but has been pretty awful. 
we need him to start not being awful. Today would be a good day for him to do that. Unless my back recovers miraculously and I can go next weekend, which is probably quite unlikely as I am still forced to uh, stream standing up, as you can see. That's not an ideal start to the game either. I'm very sorry to the people of the North. Is that a Northern thing or just a Preston thing? We've got a penalty here, I think. Does non to Legend end tomorrow if I win the league in the Champions League? Well, for, for a start, you won't find out both of those things tomorrow. It'll be the culmination of the league season tomorrow and then the Champions League final on Tuesday. Um, but secondly, no, non to Legend won't end. If we win them both, I will leave Dortmund, though. And we'll go somewhere else. It's not a case of just win the Champions League and the save is over. It's over when I feel like I've had a satisfying career that I would retire from in real life. And I think after one Champions League and one Bundesliga, I don't think that's enough to retire on. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Some other, like when I went to Juventus versus Sporting last year. It's probably unlikely they'll get East Fife in the next round, but you never know. My word, Mackenzie Ross has scored a goal. Hell must have frozen over. That guy doesn't score goals. Dortmund versus Arsenal in the, in the away end. I wouldn't get a ticket, though, would I? How come the full streams aren't uploaded to La Lujo 2 anymore? Because they're here on Twitch. So if you want to watch full streams, you can come and watch them here on Twitch. Um, and they just messed up the algorithm on YouTube because not as many people were watching them as the edited highlights. So they've not been taken away. They're just in a different place. So if you want full VODs, they're here. Obviously, the live stuff is here. And then the highlights are on Alujo too. How far can East Five go with their budget? We'll win the Champions League with them. Get a van and have it converted, film the process. I mean, I don't know that I'd be able to film the process of someone else converting it, and there's no way I could convert it. I have When we first moved in, Anna bought some shelves that she wanted in the living room, and I've not managed to get them to stick to the wall yet. So me converting a van is not a good idea, but I might buy a converted one. They're a lot cheaper than a motorhome. And then see a Dortmund match while I'm in Germany anyway? That would be perfect. Because that's then getting two, two chunks of content out of the same trip. And it's a trip that Anna then would want to come on because she wants to go to Gamescom. So that would be cool. So that might be the way to do it. But obviously we're then relying on um, the fixtures and they're actually being a home game while we're there. Have I looked into hiring a camper van rather than buying? I have, but they're really expensive. That's a football goal. Duke Nukem, thank you very much for 47 months. Is it still that simple now we've left the EU? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? I drove to France last year. No problem. The Euro tunnel, they haven't closed the Euro tunnel down. I've driven into Belgium from England since we left the EU. It's easy peasy. Right, who are we playing next? We're playing midweek. Is this... Oh, it's because we've got Aberdeen coming up. So we've got to play our league game midweek. And then we've got the cup, the cup quarterfinal. <sighs> Oh, for goodness sake, what's going on here? I hate it when you go on a cup run and league form just falls through the floor. It's rubbish. Um, we're on very attacking now, boys and girls. I don't know how we're losing. I don't understand how we're losing 2-0. What's going on, Tofo? Who are you banning and why? What's he banning people for? <laughs> right, let's uh let's get ready for this beating by Aberdeen. Even though our league form has collapsed in the last two matches, so the cup run might be costing us a shot at the playoffs. Cameron Scott wants a rest. I mean, I am I've got no issue with resting him for Aberdeen. We're gonna lose anyway. Can we send him on a little holiday? We can. Right, let's brace ourselves for a smashing. Um, this all looks about right. Let's take our medicine and then focus on the league for the rest of the run-in. 
<laughs> It'll be fine, boys and girls. We're not losing yet. Come on. It's a sellout. Look at us. I mean, can we switch the camera angle so it just looks like there's fans here? We can never see any fans from that camera angle. Look, it's a sellout. Here they all are. We really should have got some temporary. There's nobody sat on the, the bench over there. There you go. We've, we can sit. Look at us. We've rammed the place. That is our only stand. And it's full, but we don't need to see it. It's distracting. We prefer that brick wall. <laughs> that brick wall of that empty car park is what we want to see. We can't see the solar panel array, which is a little bit unfortunate. We know it's there in real life. Where's the sea? Why can't we see the sea? Look at us, knocking the ball around like we're the big team. We're actually playing quite well at the moment. Oh, I see. Oh, dear. That guy's name looks familiar. I think I've signed him before, that Aberdeen player. Oh, dear. This is going to be painful, isn't it? Is that being disallowed? It's been disallowed! <laughs> Huzzah! It's nil-nil at half-time. This is a remarkable performance from the boys. I suspect this move isn't going to end well for us. Oh, look at that. It's what happens when you have former posh players in the team. We've got Critchlow in defence. We've got Lamb in midfield. We're loading up on former Peterborough players, which is the way forward. What's the best way to tell what season you're on? What, in your own save or in my save? Because in this save, I always put it in the title of the stream on Twitch. Can't fit it in on TikTok. Ten minutes left. Can we grab a late winner? Wouldn't that be a thing? What a performance this has been from the boys. Regardless of what happens in these next ten minutes, this has been a wonderful, a wonderful showing for the club. Well, we're taking them to extra time then. Look at me! It's a close-up of Kev! Oh, it's the kind of thing dreams are made of. We got we can fit another substitution in, maybe? Oh, Healy's injured. Lamb needs to come off. There we go. Come on, boys. If we can get to penalties, it's anyone's. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, look. Look at him go. No, rubbish. That's what you should get on the radio. Here we go. They've got Capri laying goal, I've just seen. The amount of times I've signed him at Premier League level clubs. No wonder we can't score. Their best player. I mean, I don't know if he is an FM24, but certainly on the last couple of FMs, he's been one of the best young keepers in the game. He goes on to be a French international, usually. <laughs> oh. Oh, my word! It might be happening! What a header! Caprile might be Italian, which would make it harder for him to be a French international, but never mind. Let's focus on the goal. Right. Sit on the hands. We don't change anything from here. Obviously, the temptation for the newcomer for the novice, for the less seasoned football manager player, would be to put 10 men behind the ball and go defensive. Goodness sake, I'm not even, I'm not even finished the speech. Let me do the speech first. For goodness sake. Whatever happens from here, we've not embarrassed ourselves, which is beautiful. Look at Healy go. He's injured and goes past his man, and that's a beautiful pass. No, couldn't quite get him behind the defender. We're being stretched a little bit here. We're tired. We're semi-pro, remember? We're semi-pro playing against a team that plays in Europe. We're shattered and we're done. Ah. Has it been disallowed? Oh, it's been disallowed. Come on. We're still alive. Last minute winner, anyone? Penalties. It's now a lottery. That was straight at him, wasn't it? That wasn't very heroic. Right, McLeod is probably going to miss because he's not having one of his good games. Okay. Okay, here we go. Duck versus Smith. 
Come on. Again, that's straight at him. Why isn't he? He's allowed to use his hands. Does he know the rules? Look, good. He's caught it. You can't have you can't have a penalty that's so bad that the goalkeeper can catch it. That's poor. For goodness sake. Right, one of our former posh boys. We like a posh boy. Oh, the aliens are in. Uh, did he score it? I think he did. Right, come on, Smithy. We need a Smith save. The aliens helped him. He saved that, I think. Couldn't tell because the aliens are in. Right, here we go. Come on. 3-3 three, three, going into the final penalty. Can Smith really, really, really make himself a hero here? Come on, the aliens. He's got the post. I just spat everywhere. Shenanigans. Um, 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 um. Okay, we don't need to slow it down just yet. Bren, thank you very much for the prime. It's Satole versus Caprile. And here we go. He's not even looking. He's not even looking. We're going to pause it as he kicks it and see what happens. Where's it going? It's going straight down the goalkeeper's throat, but has the keeper gone the right way? We need to reverse the... Can we reverse this? I think this, I think that's getting saved, isn't it? That looks like it's straight at the keeper. Oh, it's literally in his hands. That takes some of the joy out of it, doesn't it? For goodness sake. Sitole. Oh, my word. Right, it's my hand again. We need another smithy moment. No. It might be all over here, boys and girls. Martin. Is Martin going to be our hero? Have you, has there ever been, in the history of the world, has there ever been a hero called Martin? Probably not. Maybe today. Okay. We're still alive. Come on, Smithy. Oh. We can still hold our heads high, whatever happens from here. Who's taking this one? An injured Healy. Oh, I don't like it. I'm not enjoying myself currently. Martin McFly. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Martin McFly is a hero called Martin. My mistake. <laughs> as a posh fan, anyone suggesting Russell Martin is a hero gets laughed out of town. Oh... <sighs> Right, Fraser, who scored in the match, remember? And for a minute, it looked like he'd put us into the semi-finals. Can he be a hero twice over? Caprile was standing on one leg for a minute there. He's so confident. So close. Aberdeen should be ashamed of themselves. They're second in the Premiership. And they had to go to sudden death penalties to beat us. A semi-pro team. Like, I mean, I was on the verge of booking the tickets for the Dortmund game on Sunday. It was Anna who made me uh, 
engage my brain and think about it. And she was, she did make the point of, you can't sit in a chair. How are you going to fly there standing up? How are you going to watch the match standing up? What are you going to do if it gets worse while you're there? You and your logic. Ruining everything with logic. I can stand up on the plane if I want. Oh, oh, he's a goalkeeper. What's the point? He's a six foot one, 15 year old. So he's going to be a big boy. Could improve a lot. I mean, I guess that's half decent. The rest of them are trash. He's uh, a defender. Jackson Henry, his name's backwards. And he's really embarrassed about it. I'm red, green, colorblind, and I can see how, how embarrassed Jackson Henry is about his name being backwards. I mean, this is quite a good result. Because Ross County... Uh, oh, for goodness sake, we've got to see him do the trophy lift. Kerr, thank you very much for the gifted sub, and that should be us back at 900 subs. And now we've got to see Ross County lift the, lift the title, which is... I mean, why are they doing the trophy lift at our ground with three games to go? This seems unnecessary. I think they could have done that at a home match. Right, we are still, by the skin of our teeth, clinging on to the playoffs. The way the playoffs work is I think we'd have to play the ninth team from the league above to get to the final. Is that how it works? Or... So we don't have much chance even if we get into the playoffs. But we'd like to have a crack at the playoffs. Am I streaming all this week? Yeah, should be. Unless I end up flying to Dortmund on Thursday. Which is pretty unlikely. I should be streaming every night. No shenanigans at the moment. This is actually the the least activity-filled week I've had in about a month. We were looking at the calendar this afternoon. Again, Anna running my life. We were looking at the calendar this afternoon. We've got nothing on. No meetings, no appointments, no hospital trips, vets trips, no travel. Nothing. I'm just here at home all week. So should be able to crack on with loads of non-league to legend and stream every night. Right, we just need to match whatever Dunfermline do. And we're in the playoffs. Obviously, if we're going into the playoffs, we also need momentum for the playoffs. So a win is pretty important here. So I would very much like to win, please. And thank you. I'm very confused about how TikTok streaming and stuff works because at some points tonight we've had 50 or 60 people watching and then it's just dropped down to like five people. I don't know how they push it out. I guess it just pushes out as part of the algorithm as normal. But it's very odd the way sometimes it's pushed out to lots of people and sometimes not many all within the same stream because I don't promote it anywhere. So it literally is the For You page pushing people. And it just seems to randomly go up and down. It's confusing. It's, I think uh, lucky if you're lucky, you eventually stumble into a job that you love. And that's what I've done. I love doing this. It's awesome. So we face Dundee United over two legs. When did we last play them? We lost 2-0 at home. When did we play them before? We lost 1-0 away. When did we play them before? We lost, oh God. When did we play them before? We won! So we played them four times this year. We've won one and lost three. I don't hold out a lot of hope here, boys and girls. Probably because I'm significantly over the weight limit for it. But it is good. It means I can just be in here walking all day. But frustratingly, my Apple Watch doesn't pick up the steps. I don't know what just music loud and then an emoji means. Does that mean the music is too loud or you want me to make the music loud? I don't feel like there's enough information there. <laughs> Either way, everyone else seems happy with it. So it's probably not changing. Do a goal. Come on. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That might be huge. If we can grab another one, that'd be lovely, lovely, lovely. Confirmed, confirmed, but when are the dirt sheets ever wrong, eh? What 
What do we want? To win in the playoffs, boys and girls. Come on, then. Please don't lose, boys. I see. Healy's injured. And now they're doing us with set pieces, and I don't care for this at all. This is our thing. We're supposed to be the set piece people. What is happening? Two set pieces late in the first half, and that was that was that, boys and girls. That was how it ended. Shoot. Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Here we go. Kev thinks he's Patrick Mayho mess. Never heard of her. First things first, what would he be doing in my house? Probably giving me a gift or delivering a takeaway or something. It's usually why people turn up at my house. Oh, for goodness sake. That's no way to lose in the playoffs. And that was that. Let's see what our... Uh, see how many pennies we've got to spend this summer. So there's a lot of players leaving, so there's going to be some wage budget appearing. What we want is for the board to announce that we're going professional. In fact, now would be a good time to ask. There we go, professional status. Well, we've got a little bit of money knocking around. And they could still sneak it in before the season ticks over. So they've reduced my transfer budget. That's nice. We've actually had money taken off us there. Come on, give me the, give me professional status. Oh, oh, oh. Right. We're doing a stadium expansion. We're moving somewhere else in the meantime, and they're responding. Right. These are significant things that are occurring. So, East Five have agreed to rent Moorside Park, which was built now. It's literally just been built. It's no bigger than our current stadium. What the hell is this for? Cardenden. Where is this? Why does this place exist? They're adding 1,456 new seats. It's going to cost 1.7 million. We're getting a grant. It's going to take 10 months to do. So it takes the capacity up to like 3,000. Is that right? That's quite the anticlimax. So yeah, we'll, our stadium will be 3,500 capacity when we move back in. We train in Edinburgh, apparently. We believe we can still achieve fame as a semi-professional side. People love to root for the underdog. Nathan, don't be pathetic. That's such a sarcastic answer. Now can we have a grown-up conversation about it? You child. You pathetic child. Goodness me. Welcome, Kevin. We understand you'd like to discuss your recent request. Yeah, I want a sensible discussion about it. Because what you said last time was absurd. We should be looking to turn full-time in order to match the fitness levels of other clubs in our division. As much as we would love the club to be professional, that's not what you just said, we simply cannot afford to take on the extra cost involved with being a full-time club. That concludes this meeting. In future, please do not waste our time with things like this. Oh, I'm sorry, Nathan. Wow. Wow.